We all want cheaters to just stop. Sometimes that's not possible, and sometimes it is. And sometimes it results in a little humiliation for the cheaters in question. Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, 10 cheaters who got humiliated. At number 10, a chronic cheater was caught on a live stream playing player unknown battlegrounds. These kinds of stories are always cathartic. The guy in question isn't like a pro or anything, not a huge name, but a well-known cheater. Guy by the name of Vesprin. Someone who's been caught and reported multiple times, creates new accounts, and continues on. And streams, for some reason. But at least according to this Game Rant article, players got a little bit of satisfaction when over a hundred different viewers apparently managed to take clips of him cheating on a live stream, which they reported, and an actual community manager by the name of PUBG Hawkins joined the stream and, you know, observed to see what was going on. Hilariously, Vesprin, the cheating guy, was suddenly banned live with PUBG Hawkins saying, Peace, loser. It was a satisfying moment for players who have long grown frustrated with the amount of cheaters in player unknowns battlegrounds. And to be fair, even though this guy's probably back with a new account and still cheating, at least everybody got to watch it get swatted down. On his own stream, no less. At number nine, a bunch of Grand Theft Auto Online cheaters got hunted down and trolled. Another game with a really serious cheating problem is GTA Online. It can be really frustrating to deal with. And for a lot of players, the numerous hackers can just totally sap all the fun out of the game. Some players fight back though, and, and you love to see it. As described in this Kotaku article, a YouTuber and player named Pluxar found this blatant cheater in GTA Online and decided to do something about it. The guy was literally invincible. They couldn't be killed, so it required a little precision trolling to get them to leave the game. Using an armored car and some rockets, they were basically able to render the cheater immobile. Uh, like they'd constantly knock him around and force him into a ragdoll so they couldn't do anything. Pluxar eventually got the cheater to rage quit and to add insult to injury, uploaded a video to YouTube showing exactly how they did it. Like most people don't have the patience for dealing with cheaters like this. So it's kind of always satisfying to see somebody go above and beyond and just give them some comeuppance. At number eight is Fall Guys, where players teamed up to take down a cheater. Like you'd think a game like Fall Guys would be relatively hacker free, considering how low stakes it is. But of course, if there's competition, there will probably be cheating. Sometimes players just won't stand for it though, and that is when the magic happens. As reported by PC Gamer, a streamer named So's Game managed to capture a match with a depressingly common sight. While most of the other players struggled through the Fall Guys obstacle course, one player was just like floating to the finish line. They're a blatant cheater, and while this usually doesn't lead to a lot of repercussions for them, this time other players decided to do something about it. One minigame called Egg Scramble splits the players up into three teams, and the objective is to collect eggs and deposit them into the team's basket. The cheater ended up on the red team, but the players had had enough of his cheating, and instead of trying to win, they decided to try to sabotage themselves instead. So rather than collect eggs, red team members removed any eggs going into their basket, basically ensuring that the team, and the cheater included would be eliminated from the game. It was a moment of self-sacrifice to make Big Boss give a tearful salute and one of the most amusing stories to come out of Fall Guys for a while. At number seven is Call of Duty Warzone where a cheater accidentally revealed he was cheating on stream. It is said that the pride comes before the fall and there's no better example on this list than this dude who calls himself Mr. Golds, who is a Call of Duty Warzone streamer. The story comes to us from PC Gamer, which says that during one of his many streams of the game, he was bragging about his apparent skills. This is what he was saying, according to the article. Just because I have good recoil control, I'm good at the game. The first time you see someone good at the game, now I'm talking with you guys because really, I play, I look at the chat, and it's like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? What's going on, guys? Have you ever seen anyone play like me? Yeah, this guy thought he was really great. The problem is that his viewers could clearly see a cheat engine window open in the background called Engine Owning. Engine Owning, unsurprisingly, is a cheat program for a bunch of games, including Warzone. He was literally bragging about how good he was while showing a cheat menu on his screen at the same time, which is just incredible. What made 
things worse for the guy was at the moment he was caught by another streamer named Erase, who got on Twitter and told everyone to report his stream. Mr. Golds was quick to go into damage control where he basically just denied it up and down, even though the footage clearly shows a cheat program open on his screen. There was really no getting out of this one and his Twitch account got banned. It just goes to show that if you're a cheater, don't pop off about how great you are because it will end badly for you. At number six, when cheaters in various games like Fortnite, Apex Legends, or CSGO, when the cheaters get hit with malware instead of cheats, like it's not really as funny as the others. Some stories are on this list, but this one is much more on the humiliating end of the spectrum than the funny one. Like for a while back in 2020, it was this malware going around called Balder, which when downloaded would steal people's passwords and payment information. What makes this whole thing nastier than your standard malware is that the distributors would pair it with cheat engines, which they advertised on YouTube and provided links for in the descriptions. What's worse is that in many cases, they were actually charging actual money. So they were making people pay to have the privilege of get their information stolen. They didn't just hide Balder in cheat programs. They snuck it into pirated versions of games and cryptocurrency mining software as well. Still, it's the cheating part that probably got them the most money, at least according to this Sophos.com article. That goes into a lot of detail to be frank how the whole balder operation works main takeaway here is that a bunch of malware distributors see video game cheaters as easy marks and it's got to be pretty humiliating to buy a program that just steals all of your information from you and moving on to number five when an online hacker logged on to you know cheat at tekken by hacking devil kazumi which is a character that is overpowered and only available in story mode they probably didn't expect to be paired with world-class Tekken competitor, Jamin Bay, also known as Ni, nee, who absolutely does not care whatsoever that you are using Devil Kazumi because Jamin Bay can beat you anyway. And that is exactly what happened. This user, who was going at the time at least by the name OK Savings Bank, thought having an overpowered character would make it very easy to just blaze through other Tekken competitors. But again, if there was an Olympics of Tekken, Jamin Bay would be in them and possibly winning. This hacker started off all right. Obviously, a competitor wouldn't be used to fighting this character in competitive matches, and it took a minute to find a rhythm. But once it was there, even having Devil Kazumi didn't make it an easy win. In fact, Ni nee really kind of humiliated them. They rage quit in the middle of the second round, which had Jamin Bay and the audience of people watching the stream getting a hearty laugh in before moving on. And number four is a cheater who got caught red handed and pretended that they weren't cheating in Destiny 2. It's about as open and shut as it gets. Semper 0311, a Destiny 2 streamer, was caught using cheats during PvP and in a sad attempt to get away with it, just sort of pretended that it didn't happen. Yeah, in a story published by VG247.com, they get into the specifics during the stream at one point you could see red boxes around other players which is about as obvious as you can get cheating but even though it was more than clear that he was cheating he pretended not to know what people were talking about insofar as to threaten to ban anyone for bringing it up eventually you know because of the overwhelming evidence that he was cheating he did admit to it but apparently quote he didn't know how they got there unquote yeah, sure, but we believe you. We don't believe you. At number three, FIFA virtual currency thieves got charged with wire fraud. When it comes to cheating, you gotta go big or go home, I guess. And there's no denying that these four guys who managed to cheat their way into a small fortune hacking FIFA coins went real big. But of course, they wouldn't be on this list unless it had all come crashing down. In this case, it's kind of hard to sympathize with EA considering how sketchy they are with microtransactions, especially with FIFA. But for anyone going through FIFA Ultimate Team legit, this, I mean, this is kind of annoying, right? How it all worked was pretty wild. It, as reported by thelines.com, these four guys who apparently were able to get a copy of the FIFA source code created a program called FIFA server tool application and used it to simulate FIFA matches using multiple accounts at a high volume. Basically, they had a sophisticated method of farming coins and got a whole hell of a lot of them, over 67 million specifically. How much did it earn them though? Well, at least 3 million bucks was seized from just one of this guy's multiple accounts, while another guy had purchased a $2 million home. It's unclear exactly how they got caught, 
but they ended up getting charged with wire fraud, which basically counts for any form of fraud that takes place over state lines. That means it is a federal offense, which makes it way worse because we're talking about like 20 years in prison here. Yeah, this entry is getting a little too close to true crime rather than petty cheating, but it's an interesting story that couldn't have been fun for the four dudes who were pulling this scheme. At number two is a guy who got caught during a $2,000 tournament in Valorant. There have been a lot of stories about professional gamers cheating during tournaments, and even though it sucks, it's understandable. There's a lot of money to be won, and some people want to use every advantage they can get to win that cash. But for this story, first reported by Forbes, it doesn't seem to be worth it. During the TGS Signature Series for Valorant, a player named Ryu was caught allegedly cheating in a $2,000 tournament. Like, was it really worth risking your reputation and possible future in esports for two grand? Apparently it was for him, but he really got burned for it. You can see the aim hack work in the playback footage. He locks on another player before they get around a corner. And this isn't just a thing where they're pointing in the general direction. They take that corner while aiming directly at the head. And it was completely obvious Ryu was cheating. The whole thing honestly must have been pretty humiliating because afterwards he totally disappeared and never even responded to the allegations. This was one player who threw it all away just to get a little bit of money and didn't get the money. Cheating is bad enough, but this is just dumb. And finally, at number one, the crowd cheered when an infamous cheater got eliminated from the Fortnite World Cup. During the 2019 event, there was quite a bit of controversy over the fact that two alleged cheaters, Damon XXIF Cook and Ronald Ronaldo Mack, were able to make it into the finals that year as duos. Even though they had been banned from Fortnite and dropped from their team, Rise Nation, during the previous year's World Cup for allegedly cheating. As reported by Kotaku, many players felt that he shouldn't have been allowed to compete at all. The main charge comes from another Fortnite player named High Sky, who showed footage that it looked a lot like another player colluding with XXIF and letting him kill them. The other guy, Ronaldo, was also accused of being an accessory in the collusion. It's not as serious or as obvious as wall hacking or aimbots or anything, but they were working with other players to get into the finals, and I mean, that's pretty serious. Remember, just getting into the World Cup Finals for Fortnite gets them a prize of 50 grand. If they were to win, they'd get 3 million, so any kind of cheating can lead to some pretty huge rewards. But them getting banned in 2018 isn't the humiliating thing. Showing that many players have long memories when it comes to cheating, that spectators in the stadium all booed them when they appeared on screen and cheered loudly when they were eliminated. That's the humiliation coming in. Some people noted the crowd cheered more when XXIF died than when someone actually won the game. Remember, this is a live event with a live crowd, so that had to be pretty embarrassing to get cheers when you lose such a high stakes game for something that happened a year ago. That is all for today. Let us know what you think. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. Best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. So click subscribe. Don't forget to enable all notifications. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video. As always, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter at Falcon the Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.